Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 3 exclusive content. In this one, we are going to be going through the customization options along with the tuning, the horns and the license plates in Forza Horizon 3. So if you want to see plenty more exclusive content in the run-up to the game and the release and afterwards, then get yourself subscribed now. So the first thing we are going to have a look at here is the designs section of the game. This is very familiar to those of you who will have played Forza 6 and Horizon 2. There isn't a lot of difference between what we can see in those games and this one. So when you first choose your car, you're going to get a, a random selection of recommended designs and then you can search for more specific designs if you wish or press Y to go to the normal colors for the car. You can press X as well to follow the person who has made that design and then you'll be following them for their designs and their storefront in general, so their tunes, their designs, etc. So let's have a quick look at the upgrades in the Auto Vista, so we can explode the car as before. Now you can actually upgrade your car from this Auto Vista mode here. So we're going to have a look at the uh, wheel customization, so wheels and rims. So the customization pretty much carries down to a couple of uh, divisions as we've seen before so engine platform and handling drivetrain tires and rims aero and engine conversion so it's pretty much the same as what we have seen before so this mainly changes the performance of the car but of course will change the looks as well with especially the wings and the wheel rims uh, most notably making a difference later on in this video we'll have a look at the customization options available in the game so we're just going to have a quick look inside the doors of this uh, Lamborghini. I didn't even know they made these kind of 4x4 vehicles. Let's have a look at the number plates. So you can make a number, uh, custom number plate for each individual car in the game. So there we go, Super GT is the one I'm going to be choosing. So you start off quite early in the game and they give you the choice here to change your number plate. So you have uh, eight characters to play with and I'm going to go with Super GT of course. Then there are a couple of uh, little a logo is there you can choose and a blank one as well so that is the customization option for the license plates available in the game uh, the car looking very nice there here are the horns i just took a shipment of novelty horns come on boss you know you want one go on. so a bit of variety there there's 20 in total of the standard horns musical horns there's 16 of those in total and then there's 13 sound effects, which I haven't unlocked yet. You can unlock more of these by playing in the Forzathon events, which are coming very soon into the game, so you can unlock more horns, etc., as you play those uh, Forzathon events. So you can upgrade your vehicles in the upgrade shop, which is a little easier compared to the Auto Vista mode. Um, it's just a little bit easier, and you can see the specs on the car as you improve it on the left hand side of course so this is an all-wheel drive car which I'd imagine will be very strong in this game so of course um, engine conversions make their way back as long as, uh, as well as uh, drivetrain swaps which I'd imagine will be very important four-wheel drive will be very well suited to the off-road sections uh, in the game of which there are numerous off-road sections so that's going to be very important in this game also on a side note from this uh, the visual customization options there are available on rally and off-road cars things like clusters, mud flaps, uh, roof vents, bull bars, roof bars and winches which are available on a large number of the cars and trucks in the game. Around about 50 of the vehicles will have some form of those um, parts available uh, for them. Some of the muscle cars will have visible blowers so you can have uh, visible superchargers for example. That's going to be available on around about 20 cars and then the roof racks as well. So let's have another look at the upgrades. So let's go to the body kit presets. So some of the cars, not all of them, will have uh, wide body kits available. So this Sylvia has a uh, Rocket Bunny kit as standard on it, They're looking very nice indeed. So not all of the cars will have one of these available. So you're gonna have to check whether it is or not for each individual car. So this one does have one, of course, looking very nice indeed along with that absolutely ridiculously oversized uh, wing on the back there giving me Formula 1 levels of downforce as I race around the Horizon 3 map so that's looking very nice indeed 
And then if we go to auto upgrade, we can see the classes within the game. So S2 is the highest, C is the lowest at 600 PI, then B, A, uh, 700, uh, 700, 800 respectively, and S1 is 900 PI. So very similar to Horizon 2 in that respect. And then finally, we're going to have a quick look at the tuning options, which are again very similar to Horizon 2. So in order to get these unlocked, uh, you won't always have these available. You have to put the relevant part on. So for example, if you want to adjust your brakes, you have to put on uh, an upgraded version of the brakes and then you can change them. So uh, you're going to have to go into the upgrade shop to whack on a couple of parts in order to change some of these settings here in the tuning options. So that is a quick look at the tuning customization and license plates available within the game. I hope you have found this video useful. Remember to subscribe for plenty more Horizon 3 content. I hope you have enjoyed this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.